is Nightline. Plus, getting tanked at this fully loaded Texas ranch. Anybody can be a weekend warrior. Where you can crush a car with a World War II era tank and fire an M9 Vietnam flamethrower. Is this the ultimate family vacation? Very invigorating and fun. Fire in the hole. It is spring break time, and this year some families are skipping the beach, skipping the museums, and they are instead bonding over blowing stuff up and crushing things with a tank. Here's ABC's Clayton Sandell. Ah, spring break, a time for debauchery and excess. With that traditional mashup of booze and beaches seen here in the movie Spring Breakers. But deep in the heart of Texas, they're heating up spring break a little differently by basically going to war. At this 18,000 acre ranch two hours west of San Antonio, we found drivetanks.com, where you can play army for real, taking control of real tanks on battlefields with special effects right out of Saving Private Ryan. Right here we have the Russian AK-47. which John and Patty Albritton brought their son Josh, a tank buff, and his pal Ethan, both 12. So you love tanks? Yes. Tell me about that. It's mainly World War II stuff. He loves tanks. He loves World War II history, any kind of history. So here we are. This is a 1944 Sherman. Drivetanks.com is the brainchild of Todd DiGidio, a former Houston cop and Green Beret. We have every all kinds of guns from around the world in every period. His collection sits in what looks like a prop warehouse for a Rambo movie. This tank right here, for example, is a British chieftain tank, and it, it would have served all the way through uh, the first Gulf War. This is a Scorpion. It's a cool uh, uh, tank. Uh, one of the features of it was small. small it's small. small. It's, we call it our baby tank. None of this is cheap. I've always wanted to say this. Say hello to my little friend. This flamethrower only sets you back about 300 bucks, but flattening a car, that's a thousand. Firing the Sherman tank cost about three grand. For one group, the sky was the limit. Their day was uh, over a $30,000 day. $30,000 driving tanks. Yeah, but they're, wow. they're, yeah but, I mean, that's everything we had. Frank Wong and his family came from Katy, Texas to drive a tank. We saw the YouTube video online. Like really exciting. I mean, never drove a tank before. As you can see, the tank's main projectile right here. After a quick briefing, how about we crush a car? Yeah. Of course, let's do it. <laughs> they get ready to live out every rush hour commuter's fantasy. Watch that. All right, this poor Audi here is about to get crushed by the tank, so we're going to put a tiny GoPro in the back so you can see what it looks like from the inside. Just don't tell the bosses. like nothing yeah. I've been tried it before. I mean, it's <laughs> amazing. Well, it feels like an egg. Basically, you crush it. With like an egg. Yeah. The company's crown jewel is this 1944 Sherman tank, the same type Brad Pitt made famous in Fury. He's coming up. Oh, yeah, fire. You're going to let me drive this thing? Absolutely. What we're going to do next is I'm going to get in there and get you some basic basic skills just to, so you can drive. I'll be next to you. Uh, if you get too out of control, we'll, we'll cut her off. But I yeah. think uh, you're going to do great. Is it stick or automatic? It's uh, stick. Okay. We're in trouble. I slowly roll it out and head right into a mile-long war zone. Three. After escaping upriver and dodging a machine gun sniper on a hill, it's back to base. <laughs> that was absolutely amazing. And and so smooth, really. Yeah, I think that, you know, you can't help to bring your mind back to the guys that were driving this back in World War II. This is the only place in the world you can fire a Sherman tank. 
and they're not using blanks. But right here, you can see we shoot a solid steel, 14 and a half pound projectile wow. at over 2,500 feet per second. 2,500 feet per second. Yes, sir. The company's weapons and explosives are closely regulated by the ATF. You want to make sure the bad guys don't get their hands on this stuff. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we, we have amazing security. Uh, we have armed guards that are within 30 seconds from the building. Finally, 12-year-old Josh gets his chance to pull the Sherman's trigger first on the 50 caliber machine gun. How was that? It was very invigorating and fun. All right, here we go. It's time for the main gun. Got the earplugs in. We're ready. Three, two, one. Fire in the hole. What do you think, Mom and Dad? Worth it? Absolutely. Definitely worth it. As spring breaks go, Josh and Ethan think this one was right on target. I've seen like amusement parks and roller coasters and stuff, yes. but but this is nothing compared to that. For Nightline, I'm Clayton Sandell in Uvalde, Texas.